So we're actually seeing more issues to our supply chain right now. And a lot of people are saying that it's the government. The government is doing it all. And I want to address what's happening because yes, we're seeing fires. They're started in manufacturing plants and just completely crippling certain industries. We saw just recently Ford issued uh, a new recall about 2,900 Ford F-150 Lightnings due to an issue with a tire pressure gauge. Recently, Sun Villa, they actually recalled more than 400,000 solar LED umbrellas that were actually sold at Costco. Toyota has issued multiple recalls, one of which was for 46,000 Toyota Tundras. Uh, this was for the 2022 due to a rear axle becoming loose. So very scary stuff. We also know that Schneider Electric, they recalled 1.4 million electrical panels due to their potential to overheat and actually cause burns, which could also cause fires. We know Honda is recalling 110,000 Ridgeline trucks due to corrosion in which the gas tank will actually leak. We know more than 185,000 pounds of ready to eat bacon has been recalled in just Illinois. Months ago, baby formula was recalled in Massachusetts. And just recently, JM Smucker has recently recalled GIF branded peanut butter due to a multi-state salmonella outbreak. Now, why does all this stuff matter? This matters because this is what's causing many issues. When it comes to food products, okay, for example, baby formula, when, it, when this was recalled in the masses, the problem was there was no baby formula. You'd go to stores and there was nothing. So what did moms have to do? Well, they can you know, breastfeed, right? They can try to get other, other formula, which is difficult to switch a baby from one formula to the next especially all of a sudden. So it's very difficult when it comes to fixing, uh, for instance, the, the Honda Ridge lines and their gas tank leaks. Well, the problem is a lot of these products that we need are coming from China and other, com other countries, right? They're coming over on container ships, which takes a little bit of time. This is just crippling our supply chain. This is crippling our economy. This is really hurting. But again, when it comes down to food, let's say there's not 185 pounds of ready-to-eat bacon for all those bacon lovers. Well, what do they do? Well, if they absolutely want their bacon, they're gonna have to get the stuff that isn't ready to eat. They're gonna have to get the bacon that they have to cook. Guess what? That means for all the people that wanted the bacon that they had to cook, well, you're out of luck because there's not gonna be that much more. There's 185 pounds that has to be uh, replenished somewhere, right? So what happens? They buy the stuff that you were gonna buy. Again, why does all this matter? This matters because this is all due to what has happened over the past two years. Everything. And, and again, somebody asked me the other day, and let me read this for you really quick. Somebody asked me, why are we seeing so many recalls in regard to food? This food specifically. Well, the answer is actually quite simple. First, uh, there, there's a lot of workplace shortages. We have seen quality control recently take a hit because employees are not wanting to work. We still have a similar amount of manufacturing. We still have a similar amount of production, but when it comes to quality control, we're lacking uh, you know, employees. This is because of a workplace shortage that's what we're seeing. Now, and I, I didn't think this was true. I thought this was, you know, people just spreading fear and rumors. So I asked. I asked uh, one of my friends who does uh, work in a manufacturing plant. And what do you say? That quality control is where they made the first cuts. It wasn't in manufacturing. It wasn't in management. Okay, it wasn't in, uh, you know, the production lines. Okay, it was in those couple places. Number one, it was in office staff. It was in quality control. The third one, which I thought was interesting, was in maintenance. Those are the three places. Why? Because companies still need to manufacture products. Maybe they didn't need four receptionists. Maybe they just could get by with two. Fine, they get rid of the rest. But that's the issue is quality control 
has taken a hit, especially over the past two years. So that's the first reason. The second reason why we are seeing more safety recalls is because lately we have seen the amount of FDA uh, inspections, facility inspections, this has actually ticked up again. What happened over the past two years? This is why. When we were seeing uh, you know, a potential virus moving around the country, uh, whether it was you know, on, you probably remember this, your box from Amazon would show up and yet you couldn't touch it for about 24 hours, 48 hours because, well, what if the virus was still on the box? So you had people walking outside spraying Lysol over their boxes because they didn't want to touch it. I remember I had to put on gloves. Well, I didn't know. I put on gloves to open up the box. Didn't wear a mask, I just put on gloves because that's what we you know, learned in the beginning was it, it's, uh, it's on the surfaces. Be careful, it's when you touch things. But then it switched from it's a surface virus to it's airborne, right? But again, it's all because we're getting new safety rules. And I can tell you right now, the product safety rules have enhanced over the past two years. Not only that, technology has been a huge help in discovering a source of pathogens. And this tells us, okay, this particular uh, you know, virus, this particular problem came from this plant or this warehouse or this state, which means that's why we're getting more recalls. And then when you factor all these things together, it only means that more recalls are just right, right there. They're, they're right behind us. The next, tomorrow we're gonna have a new recall. Don't know what it's gonna be on yet, but as we learn more, I promise I'll fill you in. But what I can tell you is we are seeing a lot of issues. We are seeing a lot of issues, okay? Stores are lacking products because number one, they can't get the products through the shipping. Number two, people are not buying the certain products so they don't wanna reorder. So it takes longer from the time that they run out of the product versus the time that they get it because they never made a replenishment order, right? Big issue. And then the fact that we are gonna get recalls on a lot of products. Some stores are not gonna order those things that are being recalled time and time again because guess what? It's costing them money. It's taking up space in their store, which they cannot fill yet. Again, major issues. But I wanted to bring this up to you because I know a lot of people are saying it's the government. It's the government trying to keep tabs on us. It's the government trying to uh, you know, infect us. I don't think it's the government, but the government does have a hand in this and they are cracking down on companies. But at the same time, they are the ones that are enforcing new rules they're more uh, stringent on what they're doing. They're being very strict. And this is one of the reasons why some of our shelves are bare because we're getting recalled left and right. So that's what I can tell you at this time. Again, as I know more, I promise I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates, but this is one of the big things that's happening and has been happening over the past six to 12 months is we are seeing more and more issues. And now mainstream media is talking about it, which means more of the American people are going to start to learn about exactly what's happening. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.